So ngayon naman, kailangan naman natin matutunan yung uh, application ng fundamental theorem of calculus given an interval function. So, ang explanation lang dito sa mga fundamental theorem of calculus is para kang magkukuha ng derivative given an integral. So, for example, if we need to dif um, differentiate or to find the derivative of g of x, wherein yung g of x nyo is the integral of 1 over 1 plus t squared dt from 0 to x, kapag ginamit natin yung theorem ng fundamental uh, theorem for calculus to find its evaluation, so yung g of x nyo na given by this function to find its derivative, kukunin nyo syempre yung g prime of x. At sa pagkuha ng g prime of x, ang pinakasimple yung explanation lang dito kasi 0 to x wherein variable or x yung inyong upper limit, is a substitute nyo lang yung inyong x doon sa variable nyo dito sa function. Kaya yung 1 over 1 plus t squared nyo magiging 1 over x squared kapag kinuha nyo yung derivative niya. Medyo nakakalito lang ng konte pero ang pinaka-logic behind this is is a substitute nyo yung... Uh, upper limit nyo doon sa mga variables ng function nyo pagkuha ng derivative nitong integral notation para yung g prime of x nyo will be equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. So, hindi tayo gumagamit ng quotient rule. Ang ginagawa lang natin is substitution ng upper limit doon sa function. Now, magiging mas madali yung mga example na yan kapag meron pa tayong mga ibang examples tulad ng g of x na ito. So once again, sa fundamental theorem of calculus, yung ating interval notation, hindi na siya numerical. Meron ka ngayon from 0, which is a numerical value para sa lower limit, at yung upper value nyo will be any variable. Now, ito yung second example ko. I have g of x, wherein we need to find the derivative of g of x for cosine t dt from 1 to x squared. So meron kang integral notation, kailangan mo kunin yung derivative ng integral notation nyo from 1 through x squared. So, chain rule ang gagamitin natin dito kasi karamihan naman or halos lahat ng trig function, kapag kinuhaan natin siya ng derivative function, chain rule yung gagamitin natin. So, una muna, kailangan natin kunin yung derivative ng cosine t. At ang derivative ng cosine t, hindi yung mismo cosine t but yung variable t kasi ang kinukuha natin is yung derivative ng cosine t dt from 1 through x squared. So, with respect to dt or with respect to t yung pagkuha natin ng integral hindi yung cosine. So, kukunin muna natin yung um, derivative ng cosine t from 1 to x squared kaya meron ka nga yung cosine x squared tulad ng example natin sa nauna papaltan lang natin yung variable ng upper limit now, since chain rule siya, kailangan natin kunin yung derivative nung nasa loob which is this time naging x squared siya. So, kailangan yung kunin yung derivative nung upper limit para matapos nyo yung inyong derivative process, kaya meron ka nga yung cosine x squared times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Kaya ang derivative ng cosine t dt from 1 to x squared with respect to t is 2x times cosine x squared. So yan yung paggamit ng chain rule given um, this particular integral notation using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Now, for example number 3, meron akong f of x, which is given by the integral of x squared plus 3x minus 4 dt from 3 through x squared. So, once again, yung derivative yung, or yung integral notation natin is with respect to t. Ang gagawin natin, kakunin natin yung derivative ng x squared plus 3x minus 4 with respect to t. So, to do that, is a substitute natin yung mga upper limit natin sa mga terms natin dito sa loob ng parentheses. So, we have x squared plus 3x minus 4. So, we'll have x squared raised to the second power, kasi yun yung upper limit nyo, plus 3 times x squared minus 4 times yung derivative ng upper limit nyo, which is x squared. So, evaluate nyo to by simplifying it. So, you'll have x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 4 times yung derivative ng x squared, which is 2x. So, yan yung... Example number 4 naman natin, meron tayong um, function, yung t to the fourth plus 1 all over t squared plus 1 dt, 
ng integral process from x squared to 1. So to find yung uh, derivative ng integral function na to, yung, gagamitin natin yung fundamental theorem ng calculus wherein magsasubstitute tayo doon sa mga values ng ating mga t's at gagawin natin siyang yung upper limit. Now, bago natin gawin yan, gagamitan natin siya ng properties of integration kaya nagkaroon ka ng negative d over dx ng 1 through x squared kasi yung upper limit nyo should be the variable. So, gagamitan nyo siya nung in yung uh, properties of integration. Now, by substitution, kailangan natin paltan yung mga t nung in yung x squared, kaya yung x squared natin, o yung t, t natin naging x squared to the fourth plus 1 all over x squared squared plus 1 times the derivative of the upper limit, which is x squared. At ang derivative ng upper limit natin is 2x, so ang derivative ng ating integral notation is negative 2x times x to the 8th plus 1, all over x to the 4th plus 1.